Good afternoon, dear students. Uh, now uh, we have a lecture for third year students for propedeutics of internal medicine, and it's lecture for students of MM groups. It's just several lectures left in your propedeutics of internal medicine cycle. And topic of our today's lecture it is signs and symptoms of urinary system disease. And during this lecture, we're going to discuss several main syndromes uh, of urinary system disease. It is urinary syndrome, it is nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, urinary tract obstruction syndrome, and hypertensive syndrome. All of them are connected with uh, damaging of kidneys and uh, urinary tract. Okay, now one moment. Okay, plan of our today's lecture. It is discuss importance of value of human kidney. Uh, we will discuss urinary system diseases syndromes. It's urinary syndrome, nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, urinary tract obstruction syndrome and hypertensive syndrome that we, I named already. And to remind how do kidney work, primary function and purpose. Uh, and some moments from history taking patients examination, spectrum of urinary system diseases and urinary system diseases symptoms. Okay, importance of human kidney. You, you know from physiology, from pathophysiology and maybe from anatomy that human kidney it is a body's filter. It cleans 180 liters of liquid per day, retaining a good stuff and expelling bad stuff. Uh, most fortunately, humans are born with two kidneys, and one of them becomes damaged, the one, uh, the another one can pick up the slug. If both kidneys fail, however, body will be filled with harmful toxins. Without medical intervention, such as such patients will die within several several weeks. And on this picture, uh, you see a case of treatment of patient with uh, severe damaging of both kidneys. And this way, we uh, we named uh, hemodialysis or artificial kidney. You see how a big device take function of one small kidney. Uh, okay, first of all, urinary syndrome. It is the simplest one for today. Uh, by definition, it is quantitative and qualitative changes in urine. It is laboratory syndrome uh, when we see some changes in urine test. What it can be? It can be changes in volume and composition of urine output. It can be changes in the rhythm of urinary excretion. And it can be changes in the volume and composition of the blood. Uh, and uh, next syndrome, one of the most important and much more, uh, we will discuss it much more longer, it is nephrotic syndrome. What is that? It is clinical and laboratory syndrome characterized by massive protein urea which lead to hypoproteinemia, especially due to albumin, we name it hypoalbuminemia. Uh, moreover, uh, it's not just protein urea and hypoalbuminemia. Additionally to it, it always goes hyperlipidemia and pitting edema in result from increased permeability of glomerular basement membrane GBM uh, to plasma protein. Uh, criteria for nephrotic syndrome. It can be protein urea uh, that we, uh, we usually named pro uh, hematuria like red blood cells in urine and it is gross hematuria. Uh, it usually goes with hypertension with blood pressure more than 114 by 90, you remember, criteria for hypertension. It goes with azot azotemia, it is renal insufficiency with increased level of uh, serum uh, creatinine and urine. 
and hypocomplement anemia. It is decreased level of serum complement complement or C3. Types of nephrotic syndrome. In most cases, uh, nearly 90%, it is idiopathic. It means that we can't find any significant exact cause of this uh, nephrotic syndrome. Uh, and in 10% of cases, it can be secondary. Then we can cause such uh, disorders, some disease that lead to this uh, proteinuria and nephrotic syndrome. Uh, it can be due to anaphylactoid purpura, due to systemic lupus erythematosus or LH, uh, SLE, HBV infection, hepatitis B infection, etc. And in some cases it can be congenital. Pathophysiology. Uh, yes, it's very simple. Uh, maybe you know it. Uh, who uh, do not remember, uh, does not remember uh, the structure and function of glomerular water vet, please stop video here and repeat it. Yes, uh, it is glomerular de damage uh, that lead normal filtration of primary urine from the capillaries uh, to the uh, urinary tubes. It leads to increased permeability to proteins and lead to protein urea. What is a uh, criteria uh, for uh, nephrotic syndrome? You remember it is massive protein urea, more than 3.5 grams per day. Uh, this massive protein urea going of proteins to the urine leads to hypoprotein amine. And uh, it have two main results. It is decreased plasma oncotic pressure that lead to edema. It is specific type oncotic edema. And it lead to compensatory synthesis of proteins by liver uh, that additionally lead to hyperlipidemia. That's why uh, nephrotic syndrome uh, usually connected not just with protein UA and hyperprotein amine, it always connected with hyperlipidemia. Um, uh, okay, nephrotic syndrome. Uh, may, we can divide by degrees. It can be mild, moderate, and severe. Mild nephrotic syndrome. It is less than 0 0.5 grams per uh, meter in square per day. Moderate. It is uh, from 0 0.5 to 2 protein urea and severe protein urea. It is more than 2 grams per meter in square per day. Uh, moreover, protein urea can be selective and uh, non-selective. Uh, what it means? Uh, yes, uh, it can be different types of proteins in our organism and circulating into the blood with big molecules, with slow molecules, uh, with high molecular weight and low molecular weight. Uh, and according to it, is it isolated, uh, isolated hyperfiltration of one of this type or not uh, specific, it is uh, hyperfiltration of all types, protein urea can be selective or non-selective. Selective, it where protein, uh, proteins of low molecular weight, such as albumin, first of all, are excreted more rapidly than protein of, proteins of high molecular weight. And non-selective are uh, that uh, all together as low molecular weight as high molecular weight are lost in urine. Uh, okay, uh, symptoms of nephrotic syndrome. First of all, uh, according to its nature, according to its mechanism, you understand that first of all it will be edema and it is those specific type like oncotic edema. It can be varying degrees. Uh, it can be as local like edema of face or facial edema, it is the most specific type of edema for kidney problems. And edema around eyes, it is specific for kidneys too, we name it periorbital swelling. And it can be uh, edema of low extremities. In uh, most of our cases, it can be generalized edema, you remember we name it anasarca. 
Uh, moreover, it is it can be edema of penis and scrotum. Other clinical symptoms include fatigue, lethargy, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, body weight increase, urine output decrease, pleural effusion, and respiratory distress. Uh, okay, uh, tests and differential diagnosis for nephrotic syndrome. Uh, as usual, we do a laboratory test and especially blood test. Uh, for nephrotic syndrome, we can find here a uh, high serum protein, more than 5.5 grams per deciliter. Albumin, less than 2.5 grams per deciliter. And cholesterol, more than 220 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, in urine test, we can find protein urea, olive-urea during stage of edema formation, microscopic hematuria uh, in 20% of cases, and large number of hyaline casts. Yes, hyaline it is a protein, that's why it will be casts formated by proteins. Differential diagnosis. Uh, you, we should do differential diagnosis of generalized edema if it's present. Yes, what we in, uh, exclude in these cases. First of all, uh, we exclude heart failure. We uh, should exclude mixed edema or thyroid problems or generalized edema due to hypothyroiditis. You remember endocrine lecture. Or, if it is excluded, uh, we can think about kidney problems and especially nephrotic syndrome. Uh, okay, one more time, let's uh, take together all our main information about nephrotic syndrome and all uh, every, uh, every word here uh, contain letter O. First of all, it is massive protein urea. One more time, what means massive? It more than 3.5 grams per day. Uh, it will be hypoprotein amia. It is peeling out of albumin. It is edema due to oncotic uh, pressure in the blood goes down. It is hypercholesterol amia or hi with hyperlipidemia and uh, hyperlipidurea. And hypercoagulable state, it is thrombotic and thromboembolic complications. And today I have for you uh, a test, a test from USMLE. Uh, for your individual work, we will not ask uh, your correct answers, but who are interested in, who are in topic, you can try to answer and write us in comments correct answers. A seven-year-old male suffers from generalized edema. Urine protein excretion is 5.2 grams over 24 hours and serum analysis reveals hyperlipidemia. The patient responds to treatment with prednisone and eight weeks later his urine does not contain miscible protein. If a kidney biopsy has been performed while the patient's condition was pathologic, which of the following view do you expect to find upon a glomerular electron microscopy? It is quite difficult, but if you read at home, if you will be uh, if you will be attentive, you will find correct answer. Options here. First, it is a fisherman of podocyte food processes. Second, subepithelial spike and dome deposites. Third, subepithelial humps, thin glomerular basement membrane. And fifth, subendothelial thing. Okay, try to answer. Okay, uh, 